Uh, today, I'm going to talk about our study about financial aspect of cryptocurrency, uh, particularly user participation in crypto derivatives market. So as you know, now cryptocurrency has become an important speculative asset. So there are many crypto exchanges on the internet, and also volatile price movement largely affect uh, investors' wealth, both positively and negatively. In addition, now cryptocurrency derivatives, which are riskier product than just holding cryptocurrencies themselves, are primary product traded on these exchanges. So this uh, volatile situation and uh, that market structure increased uh, regulatory attention to cryptocurrency investment. As a result, uh, a lot of recommendations and reforms for uh, cryptocurrency regulations are published. And most notably, uh, in this spring, uh, the European Union agreed on the holistic reform of cryptocurrency regulation. And also, now, initiative to scrutinize uh, cryptocurrency investment environments are ongoing. So naturally, uh, cryptocurrency prices and these regulatory measures are expected to affect investors' participation in crypto derivatives market and uh, cryptocurrency investment. However, uh, the extent of this uh, effect has yet to be fully investigated. So we argue that uh, the understanding is really crucial for sustainable cryptocurrency economy. So uh, investors' susceptibility to cryptocurrency price, prices is, of course, valuable information about market activity. So we can infer the market demography size or some uh, related data from this uh, data. And also, the influence of uh, regulatory measures on investors' participation is also crucial for adjusting regulatory approaches. If it is too lax, it can be insufficient to protect investors from undue losses. On the other hand, it's, if it is too restrictive, uh, it can stifle a cryptocurrency economy and its potential contribution to global society, like uh, financial inclusion in developing countries or some other regions. Therefore, to address these points, we attempt quantitative, analysis, uh, quantitative analysis of a large scale data set about crypto, uh, cryptocurrency derivatives market. So first, uh, let me briefly uh, describe uh, cryptocurrency derivatives market, which is a study, uh, our targeted study. So in short, it is a market for financial assets backed by cryptocurrencies. So in these markets, investors bet on the future value of cryptocurrencies, either up or down, instead of holding cryptocurrencies themselves, like in spot market for cryptocurrency. And we can say uh, these markets are really riskier than spot market because uh, investors can take leverage for their positions. Uh, leverage and magnifies the return of their investment positions. So for example, if cryptocurrency price moves favorably, uh, they can take huge capital gain from the positions. But uh, if it moves in the opposite side, this position will incur huge loss to investors. And notably, the trading volume in crypto derivatives market as a whole is about three times larger than spot market these days. So we can say uh, this derivatives market is the principal market for cryptocurrency investment now. So we can, uh, so we can get a useful insight about market uh, cryptocurrency investors from our data set. And here is our brief description of our data set. So our crypto derivative investor data set takes data from uh, August 20 of 2020 to the uh, July 20th of the next year. The data is taken from a representative uh, crypto derivative market API. And in the data collection period, we collected in total uh, 8.5 million investors hourly investment performance. In addition, uh, our data set stores uh, major cryptocurrency prices for every minute in our presentation period. So we can say our data set is a really big uh, data collection of cryptocurrency investors. And here is uh, our first result. The approach shows our estimate for the daily increase in the number of investors in the market. 
So that is the first difference in the number of investors in the market. And it shows the daily increase uh, appear to correlate with uh, major cryptocurrency prices. So for example, uh, when Bitcoin and Ether price goes up, the daily increase also goes up. And the, at the drop of uh, these coins, uh, the daily increase also drops. So uh, in this study, we hypothesize uh, regression analysis can help uh, relate daily increase and cryptocurrency price, uh, prices more a quantitative, um, a quantitative way. And we explored uh, this possibility in this study. So before we delve into our regression analysis, uh, let me briefly overview the major event in our observation period. So it's in December 2020, the SEC announced their litigation to Ripple, uh, their company supporting Ripple's calculation for unregistered offering of their token. And in the next, uh, in the spring of 2021, Dogecoin abruptly gained huge popularity on the um, social media, and accordingly, the price skyrocketed. And at the same time, the price of Bitcoin and other major coin also inflated. And most notably, Bitcoin price reached uh, roughly uh, 65,000 US dollars. And in May 2022, uh, sorry, 2021, uh, Chinese government announced it would tighten cryptocurrency regulation for both investment and mining. So based on the observation, we decided on the cryptocurrencies used for our analysis. First, we include uh, Bitcoin and Ethereum for their major role in cryptocurrency investment. And then, as a third coin, we consider Ripple. Of course, it is important in terms of trading volume, but the idiosyncratic point for that coin is the uh, SEC litigation against Ripple Rubber, as we I introduced in the previous slide. And we use this coin as a rough indicator of investors' reaction to regulatory measures. And as I will show later, uh, we capture some uh, uh, insight about uh, uh, impact of regulatory measures on user participation from this coin. And last coin, uh, we also consider Dogecoin as a rough indicator of influence of social media on investors' participation in the market. And uh, however, we cannot use uh, pricey prices and daily increase mm -hmm. at the year due to the variance increasing over time. So this uh, the plot shows the variance increase as Bitcoin price goes up. Uh, due to this point, uh, they do not satisfy the weak stationary condition, which is necessary for regression analysis. Therefore, we search for a suitable transformation with the aid of box cox transformation, and we decided uh, the variable set, that is, the logarithm of daily increase in the number of investors for dependent variable, and uh, log daily average price and realized volatility of uh, the selected for coins for uh, explanatory variables. And even for the variable set, there is a big problem. That is the high correlation between price-related variables. So we can see from the table that the daily average prices and realized volatility are highly correlated. Uh, this may reduce the explanatory power of our regression analysis, so we have to solve that. And as a solution, uh, we employ the principal component analysis and reduce the correlation between the uh, variables. And uh, another point to be checked before conducting regression analysis is the stationarity of variables specifically order of integration. And that is necessary for time series mod uh, regression model selection. And then for this analysis, we use two unit root tests called ADF and PV test. And the result consistently shows that the log daily, uh, log daily increase and log daily prices are non-stationary. That is, they have stochastic trend down that inflate price or deflate suddenly. So uh, we cannot use a simple uh, vector autoregressive model, and we have to resort to a bit more complicated regression model for the system. And uh, we found uh, the autoregressive distributed log model 
in short, ARDL model uh, can solve the problem. Since it is applicable to a mixture of stationary and non-stationary variables. Uh, in this model, the uh, temporal dynamics of uh, daily increase is explained by the deviation from equilibrium status called uh, co-integration, if it is, exists. And the short-run response to the past daily increase and price-related variables, which is uh, represented in a uh, principal component. And the benefit of this model is that the PSS bound test can address the existence or absence of co-integration statistically. If the test accepts the existence, it provides the expected uh, daily increase for the price-related variables given to each day. So this equation and our analysis scheme supporting that equation can lift the information asymmetry between market operators who have perfect knowledge about the market and other participants like investors or financial regulators about the market demography. And for ARDL, we consider five models from the simplest to full-fledged one. The model of one, two, three are for testing the influence of model complexity, uh, particularly the number of principal component. And for uh, model three to five are for measuring the impact of regulatory images. In model four, we consider Chinese government statement uh, to tighten their cryptocurrency regulation as an indicator variable. And in model five, we consider uh, the SEC repro lawsuit as a, another indicator variable. Okay, so here is our result. First, all five models consistently show that the same day price increase has a uh, significant influence. So specifically, 1% price increase causes 1.3% rising daily increase in the number of investors. And second, they also show that the uh, increase in uh, realized volatility has a significant influence. So these results are consistent with our prevailing uh, narrative uh, knowledge about cryptocurrency investors' uh, motivation to participate in the market. And third, the Chinese statement government, uh, sorry, Chinese government statement and SEC's uh, litigation uh, against Ripple had a significant ad uh, adverse impact on uh, daily average. So this shows regulatory measures are an important factor for investors' participation in cryptocurrency investment. Also, uh, our PSS bound test accepts the existence of co-integration at the 5% level. So this suggests uh, there is a long-run relationship between daily increase and cryptocurrency prices. Uh, the plot shows uh, our co-integration relation can replicate the daily increase, uh, observed daily increase very well. So this relationship can work as an easy estimate for the number of investors in crypto derivatives market if prices are given. And finally, uh, our analysis can address the breakdown of each cryptocurrency's influence on user participation. First, uh, it shows uh, Bitcoin price has the largest impact in terms of uh, daily average prices, uh, daily average price, and realized volatility. Second, the impact of Ripple and Dogecoin price is smaller than that of Bitcoin. And uh, remarkably, when we control the SEC's litigation against Ripple, there are, uh, in Model 5, the effect of Ripple price on daily increase uh, in terms of uh, average price on a daily increase tend to be insignificant. So this indicates that uh, investors stopped considering uh, repo price for their investment decisions and suggest uh, regulatory measures have a powerful impact on their motivation to participate in the market. And finally, uh, the results show uh, the volatility of repo and Dogecoin uh, takes longer time to fully uh, affect user da uh, daily user increase. So uh, we can see from the, uh, this point from the steeper increase in the right-hand side plot showing cumulative effect uh, realized volatilities on the daily increase. 
So this indicates the uh, propagation speed of relatively minor coins is slower than uh, that of major coins. This seems natural because the channels for volatile situation of minor coins to propagate general public is limited to like social media or website focusing on cryptocurrencies. Okay, so let me wrap up my talk. So we analyzed the quantitative influence of cryptocurrency prices and regulatory measures on investors daily increase in a represented uh, crypto derivatives market. So consistent with prevailing narrative about in, uh, crypto investors' motivation, the cryptocurrency prices and volatile situation uh, significantly affect uh, daily increase in the number of investors. However, the extent of this effect and propagation speed vary depending on the cryptocurrencies. So our analysis quantitatively reveals uh, what we are intuitively aware, but not shown with solid evidence. Also, uh, our analysis suggests a uh, long-run relationship between investors' participation and cryptocurrency prices. So our analysis scheme can work as uh, for lifting, sorry, work for lifting the information asymmetry between market operators and others. Finally, the, our analysis suggests uh, regulatory measures uh, also significantly influence uh, users, uh, uh, user participation in crypto derivatives market. So regulators should carefully consider their impact on the market. That's all. Uh, thank you for your attention. Uh, thank you, Daisuke. Um, are there any questions? Um, I guess I guess I have a question. Do you? I mean, th thank you for sharing the empirical analysis and the relationship between users and and price volatility. But do you have any insight in terms of maybe more nuanced um, usage? Uh, for example, types of users. I know that this isn't in the data set uh, oh. necessarily, <laughs> but how this might affect more risk averse users or people in different geographies. So do Do you have any follow up work on that and insights on that? Uh, so for uh, for the detailed analysis about uh, user uh, demography, like risk averse or risk uh, seeking, uh, sorry, we are still ongoing about that study uh, because this counts uh, just a number of uh, registered investors in that market. But in the future, uh, it would be great if we can address such a risk attitude about investors' demography in the market. But I can I would say because. Uh, there are leverage sides they can take for uh, cryptocurrency derivatives really high. Their risk uh, risk appetite in the market should be risk uh, risk seeking more than more conventional financial markets. <laughs> Thank you so much, Thanks okay. And any other questions? We still have a bit of time, so. Um, but uh, all right, I guess if not, just another round of applause. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.